Hey guys, it's Chad from CJ's Vinyl, and today I am going to take you on a step-by-step -step process of how to back up your LPs digitally using a regular Audio-Technica LP60. Now one of the reasons that I'm making this video is because I've noticed an influx online of people asking, how is this done, and can you do it without the use of a USB turntable? The answer is yes. You don't have to have a USB to do it. Those turntables are just gimmicks. You don't have to spend the extra money. I would say save your money and put it towards records. But uh, yeah, so with the regular LP60, um, if you've seen Audio-Technica's website, you know that the regular one comes in at $100. And these are screenshots that I am providing straight from Audio-Technica's website. There is the USB that is $130 and it comes with the Audacity software and a USB port so you can back up digitally not like you could do it with the regular version um, and then there is the Bluetooth turntable which is $180 so that you can wirelessly stream your LPs I I don't know, I really question the quality that's going to come out of wirelessly streaming your music. Um, so I wouldn't even consider anything like that. I wouldn't consider either of the USB or the Bluetooth. There's just no point in spending that kind of extra money on it uh, when you can do everything with a regular LP60. So with all of that said, you know, it is important that a video like this is available so that people understand you don't have to spend the extra money on USB turntables in order to do this. It's really easy to do it. Um, and as I said, I will show you how it's done using Audacity. And again, Audacity is free software. And that's one of the reasons I'm going to be using that for this example. You could use other software like Adobe Audition, Sound Booth, or if you have Final Cut Pro on a Mac, you could use um, Soundtrack. To do it and all of those pieces of software would work just fine but audacity is free and most people uh, will have access to at least the internet and the ability to download this software so with all of that in mind I want to go ahead and start now and show you guys exactly how this is done and I hope that this is helpful let's get right to it and once you have a browser pulled up on your computer you can just go to Google and then in a Google search you would type Audacity and there it actually auto-completed for us. Audacity download will be just fine and then here is just go here to download Audacity in the link and you have the different platforms you have Windows, Mac, and Linux. So for me I would click on the Mac version and then we have the DMG file which is the executable image file and uh, if you're on a Windows machine, you would just click on the .exe file. Now, I already have this installed on my computer, so I don't really need to do this again. But you would just click on the file that you want to download, and then once it completes, you would go through the whole process. And honestly, there's nothing special you have to do when you install it. You just install it directly as it is. Uh, we'll do the configuration here in just a quick second. It's just a couple of quick steps, and that's all you have to do for that. Once it's installed and you have it on your computer, you can see it's just really blank here. And um, to make sure that everything is properly configured for a Mac computer, go to System Preferences, go to Sound. Now on yours, underneath, if you have um, a port for the line in on your computer, it'll have the option down here below for a line in um, option to click underneath the internal microphone. Uh, since uh, this particular computer doesn't have one, I'm just using it to record. Um, you know, you can just ignore that. On yours, you'll see it. Just select that option. And if you're on a Windows computer, you would just go to Control Panel and then Sounds, and then from there you would just select the uh, Line In option, and then it'll it'll know to detect that at that point. And so back into Audacity, if you're on a Mac, you go to Preferences. Under Devices, you keep Core Audio as it is. Built-in Output is fine for playback. 
for recording, you want to make sure you have it set to built-in input, and the channel should be set to stereo, not mono, and you hit OK. Then you'd have the same kind of similar thing on a Windows machine. You would just go to your preferences, and you would select um, those two options so that whenever you had it up in Windows, it would be just like this. It would have core audio, built-in input for playback, and then built-in or I, see, I mean output, and then input for recording and stereo input channels. And I can probably even just adjust this a little bit here. It's probably fine, I don't want that too high. And then um, honestly, that's really it. From here, um, I can go ahead and show you an example of what it looks like um, from the standpoint of looking at the LP when we're recording this. So you can kind of see uh, what you're gonna do, where you're gonna plug things in, um, and at this point I'll go ahead and just do that now. Alright, now that the Audacity software is properly configured, I can go ahead and show you guys how we're going to take the music off of the LP and put it onto the computer digitally. Now first, before I do that, just real quick, I will rotate this, shed some light on the subject, and remind everyone that we are not using a USB. This is just a normal LP60, currently set to line in, of course. We don't want that set to phono, since I do not have this plugged into a phono amp. And as for the computer, all right, so we have the left and right audio composite cables that we plug into each other that go to the audio, the eighth inch um, audio connector that would normally go into the back of the speakers that you're using. But in the case of recording the audio directly to the computer digitally, we want to make sure that we plug in to the um, line in jack down here at the bottom. Just rotate this just a little bit so you can kind of see a little bit easier. So on this computer we have um, we have headphones and we have line in. Headphones is not going to do anything for you. You have to plug it into a line in um, audio port on the computer. If you do not have one, you can purchase one online. There's an adapter you can get for it. But for this video. And for any other recording that you're doing, the way that we have this set up, you're going to have to plug it in to a line in port. And in terms of the music, I'm going to be doing an example with the band Survive. We just picked this up um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, they're the guys that do the soundtrack for Stranger Things. So that's pretty sweet. It's a really cool uh, instrumental kind of. Um, synth uh, synth music so anyway at this point um I'm gonna get this a little closer here so in audacity at this point we can go ahead and we can come up here and record there's there's the record up in the top left and the moment that we hit record though it's going to demonstrate the waveform and you're going to see it recording along the timeline. And once the stylus from the turntable touches down and hits the LP, at that point that it reaches contact, uh, it's going to be recording all of that over digitally. So I will do a demonstration of this now. So up in the top left, uh, top left corner, you want to hit record, and then, like I said, you'll see that pop up. We're going to hit start on the turntable. And then you will see. And there it is. From the moment the style is touched down. It's now recording. 
and since we're not going through a phono um, amp, we're just going straight into the computer. We're not going to get any sound coming back, but we already know that we're recording. Especially if you already know your albums, um, you can just let it record through if you want, and it'll record everything on one side of the LP. Or, I mean, honestly, um, like the way that I do a lot of this recording, if I don't want to get every single song and just get my favorites like we normally do on the channel, I will position the stylus and I will start recording and then um, I don't really need to be able to hear sound because I'm pretty good with knowing where the tracks are on the LPs that I have and um, how to position it so I don't really run into that as a problem. You can run the audio cable, the 8th inch audio cable through a line in uh, audio jack if you have it on your camera and do it that way. I've also done that as well. But this is really the way that I do it for most of our videos on the channel that you see here. This is how I extract my audio straight from the LPs that we have right over into a computer. And from there I just take the completed files, I put them into the timeline of the video that I record, and that's it. I have I have the video and the audio from every single one of our LPs and this is how I do it and this is the easiest way that I know to do it and so from here I'm actually going to come up here and I'm gonna hit stop and then I'm also gonna hit stop on the turntable so it's not continuing to play right now let me just let that finish really quick here and I'm going to hit play and we can listen to the playback of what we have. And so you get the idea. Um, we have our generated uh, waveform now digitally. You can see that nothing is uh, peaking or getting close to peaking, so that's good. It's well-rounded sound. Uh, the adjustments here are pretty much what you want to have. You don't want to have your microphone slider up too high. That could mess things up. Um, so, I mean, just um, that's honestly, that's it as far as recording. And then you'd go to File when you're ready to save the file that you have. You would just go to export audio and then I'm going to save it to my desktop. So I'll just, for the sake of this video, I'll say track one is fine. And I'm going to save it as um, a lossless audio file. So I'm going to do wave 32 bit form PCM because we don't want any kind of um, compression or anything else done to this. I want to save it lossless. So I have the uh, highest quality that I can and then I'm gonna hit save and then it's gonna prompt us for information I'm not gonna put any of that in I'm just gonna for this example I'm just leaving this all as it is which is fine you'd hit OK it's gonna save it that was very quick because well it's we didn't record very much so that was pretty fast and as you can see here's the digital file that we just created I'll do a preview And since I hit record early, it's going to take a minute before it hits it. There.
And that's it. We have our recording that we just did from Audacity to, um, or I should say from the LP, and then recorded it digitally using Audacity, free software. And um, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's how I, that's how I do it for probably 98% of my videos. Uh, there's other methods you can use. Um, but yeah, that's honestly it. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. Um, I want to make sure that all of this has been very clear. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll keep on spinning and I hope you guys will keep on watching. Thanks.